Hi, so welcome to the third uh, video of Drawing Power Girl. Today I'm just going to be uh, doing the final inking on her, uh, on Power Girl herself. And I'm um, just going to be roughing out her face and then inking it. Hi, my name is Luis Escobar. I'm a storyboard artist in The Simpsons television show. I've been working on the show for over 20 years now and I'm here to empower you. So this video here is going to be extremely sped up. It's actually about an hour. It took me about an hour and 10 minutes or so to actually do this uh, in real time. Um, I have a video for that, that, that has the entire process in real time where I talk about it um, in ex extensive detail about everything that I'm doing as I'm doing it so that you could understand the process in the way it is. Uh, it, but in this in this video, um, it's just going to be extremely sped up. You're going to get a summed up sort of here's what I did sort of thing. And the reason why I'm doing these th this is because uh, some people just don't have the patience. But if you do have the patience and you actually want to learn, then you can um, see the full video over on my Patreon. And I'll tell you how to get to that in a second. But if you're just curious to see what the drawing will turn out to be and what it looks like, let's let's uh, let's uh, let's take a look at the video now. So again, uh, one of the things that I, that I didn't like about it was the arm. So I made an adjustment on the hand and the arm because it was it was it was too long. So I can't really ink anything until I figure out what her face actually looks like. And the rough that I had already set up was way 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 too rough. So. I decided to go in and actually um, uh, give myself something worth inking because I, I just didn't know uh, what was going on here. And then you're going to also notice that um, I, I put a placement of the neck right here, but I think that eventually, if, I, if I'm not mistaken, I take a look at the, the reference and I make an adjustment on that neck. Also right here I'm kind of fighting with the hair just to make sure that the hair shape is really working and I adjusted the eye over a little bit so because I wasn't really happy with the way she was looking. Um, got rid of the underdrawing red and then uh, here this is I think this is where I, like yeah here's the part w with the neck that I was like oh it's not working so I looked at the reference so that I could see what it is that I was doing wrong so that I could correct it. And now I start the um, inking process, and the inking process is uh, it takes a, a bit of time to do. And um, here you could see me struggling with the hair, and the reason why I'm struggling with the hair is because I'm trying to make sure that I'm avoiding any kind of tangent. And the tangent is when uh, two or three lines come together and flatten out a drawing. Now the style that I'm using here to ink is a very outline kind of style that I've uh, seen a lot of uh, popular uh, comic book artists that I really and really like their work use so I started using this kind of outline inking style myself and now that I have the whole thing outlined in with a deadline I then go in and I just really start working on the uh, interior ink now you know working on the belt and etc etc in in the Every detail that you put in a drawing like this when you're actually doing these sort of details is that you're trying to reinforce the structure and the solidity of a drawing uh, with the details so that uh, everything is going in the direction in the perspective direction that you want uh, things to go so that when your uh, person actually uh, the audience is looking at the, the drawing um, uh, you're basically explaining to them what um, each part of the body is actually doing. And um, I'm pretty much getting uh, to, to the end here. Um, I don't remember what I'm doing here. I, I'm adjusting stuff. Uh, but, uh, oh, right. Um, uh, I'm, uh, I'm uh, creating a selection layer because uh, what I'm going to be doing next is I'm going to be checking to see if the the uh, design that I'm going to be using in the background is going to work. So I'm making sure that uh, she is uh, working within the design that um, I'm going to be putting uh, in there and I'm just going to be adjusting a lot of, uh, I, I'm making adjustments so that the, the background design is not going to be uh, tangenting or making weird, weird uh, um, conflicting uh, shapes with the figure in the front. I also wanted to have a uh, white in front of her 
uh, so that I can really see uh, what she looks like behind uh, in front of the design and that's it uh, so that's the final version of the drawing and again if you want to see the full video which I guess I, 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 as I said it's about an hour an hour and ten minutes or so um, you could join my patreon for a dollar you get access to all the videos uh, all full videos I used to do uh, really full videos you can see them on my channel they're not going anywhere uh, so you could see the type of thoroughness that I go through but if you notice um, they don't get a whole lot of play not a lot of people want to watch those uh, unless they are really really dedicated and they really really want to know how something like this is done otherwise um, these videos are just essentially just to see how the magic happens just to entertainment so I decided that I would um, do that here on YouTube because I would just show you like a really fast version of it so that you can get the satisfaction of seeing it done in high speed but if you really really want to know how a drawing like this is done what all the things that I did I really go really into detail over on my patreon if you want to see where my patreon is the description is the link is on the, on the description of this video and you can see it on the screen if you just want to type it in so uh thank you so much and i'll see you next time all right bye